Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 14 June. It was a really chaotic day for me personally. A lot of automation that I use for the videos as well as for my own trading investment. They broke last few weeks. There have been one or two instances, but today there was a major problem. HDFC Bank's data was not reflecting correctly at all for at least one, one and a half hour. And that was impacting Nifty a lot, primarily because TCS was down. But I was totally confused why Nifty is not going down. This led to some bad trades also. So I did a bit of automation today. It is not complete yet. Let me give you a preview of that. So these are kind of live charts in the day tomorrow. I'll test them. They should be reflecting the current levels of the top nine stocks. I intend to get Nifty 50, Nif Bank Nifty and Nifty VIX live as well. It is very cumbersome and difficult for me to see all these graphs together in my screens. Though I use three screens, it still gets difficult. So hopefully this will be useful in seeing what is going up and down in real time. This is one more automation which is live now. The trigger is manual, but this data is what will be reflecting in the dashboards going forward. So hopefully the dashboard for India stocks will not break now. Back to market data, Nifty was in a very narrow range today. Today, TCS was down. Yesterday, TCS was up. Today, HDFC was up. So what is happening is that the larger players are keeping the Nifty up barely in the 0.2-0.3% kind of zone. Today also it was 0.3%. So this is leading to a feeling of optimism that everything is okay. But there is heavy selling in certain sectors where FIIs, DIIs, they want to exit. That is why the trading numbers are usually very high. So they are selling or profit booking in certain sectors. They are buying in more sectors. They have seven, eight sectors to churn. Retail typically follows the trails. So for example, now people would have seen HDFC is up. It is breaking the ranges. So let's buy HDFC bank. The bigger players have already bought it. Now the retail people will follow. They will buy at higher levels. When they'll be buying, institutions might actually be selling. So this has become a terrible game for retail. Since Nifty is not falling, no one is feeling the pinch as of now. This will be a problem for retail because retail does not book profits. Retail is being very stubborn. They will pay the price for this in my opinion. On top of that, there are news that retail has become smart. All these kind of things are told to retail on news channels, media all the time so that their morale remains high. They keep on pumping in new money. Now, if you recall two, three months back, there was a stress test. What happened after that? The small caps, mid caps, they all tanked. Retail lost a lot of money any net outcome. Most of those stocks which were impacted at that time, JM Financial, IIFL, they are back at those same levels. Today with the automation change, this trend is changed. T to T plus 4. Earlier, the latest was appearing here and it was reverse direction. From now on, this is the latest data. This graph I'll update soon. So today Nifty was up 0.3%. Bank Nifty was also up 0.3%. Nifty IT fell today. It was up yesterday. It is a round robin kind of game. Energy was up today. It has been up for 6-7 days now. FII's net bought 2176 crores. What did they buy? In my opinion, Reliance and HDFC Bank. These are the heavyweights which kept the market up despite TCS falling 1.2%, SBI falling 0.6%. DIs were also net buyers today, 656 crores, small amount. Gold was up, silver was up, Brent was up, Bitcoin was up. VIX has been crashing rapidly now, another 5% down. It is now at 12.82 below 13. The 52 week low, I think, is around 8, 8.5. There are two major news today. Vodafone is going to sell its entire stake in Indus Towers, possibly to a mix of Airtel and Jio. This will bring down their stake to zero. They will be using the services and paying for it. They will no longer hold a stake in Indus Towers. This is big news. It is a lot of money. Indus Tower may fall temporarily. In the second news, Adani Group is buying stocks from open market. The stocks were beaten down. I have been saying that Adani Enterprise share has not been moving in my updates in the last one week or two weeks. Now they are buying from open market. Today, market breadth was good. 28 sectors up. There was a sea of green. What contributed most was insurance, followed by aerospace and defense yet again. Machinery equipment again rocking. Oil and gas again rocking. Automobiles up yet again banks reverse positions up today what was taking the nifty down majorly it strange that despite so much good market breadth the nifty was up only 0.2 percent which means the volumes are shallow and percentage gains were not very high let's check key sectors aerospace and defense hal was up two percent at three lakh fifty thousand crore two percent is a lot however in the context of other stocks like musgaon dock which was up 15 percent this looks like a paltry number BL up 3%, Bar Dynamics 6%, GRSE another 6%, 
the sector is again back to 52 weeks high 4th of june is gone automobile everything was up maruti down a little bit today for a moment mahindra and mahindra actually overtook tata motors to become number 2 company and then it fell down banking mix pack mostly held stable by hdfc bank yesterday there was a query on dixon technologies this again is a big sector i usually don't cover it i'll try to cover more Dixon was up another three and a half percent today. Construction engineering consolidated. Construction materials selectively up. Adani Enterprise up one percent. Electrical utilities. The sector was not down. However, most of the stocks were down or consolidated. There is a lot of profit booking due in this sector. The consumption pack after election results has suddenly fallen. Most of these stocks were around fifty two weeks high just before the election. Most of them are roughly in the sixty seventy percent zone right now. Maybe a good opportunity for people who think long term. ITC, Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer, Marico, Patanjali, Adani, Wilmer. All of these are big names. These are the companies which build stuff that we all eat. Insurance pack was led by LIC up six point five percent. That is the largest company. If it is up six and a half percent, the sector will be up four percent. But all other major players were up as well. Investment banking yesterday I talked about my investment in Tata Investment Corporation. I mentioned that it hits many upper circuits. The first upper circuit of five percent was hit today. Machinery and equipment, Siemens, ABB, both of them were up. Metals and mining, Hindustan Zinc has been correcting. Now it is in the seventy percent to eighty percent zone. All other stocks were up. Oil and gas, ONGC corrected a bit, but everything else was up. Reliance nearly one percent. Pharma mostly up. Real estate up one percent as a sector. The problem was software. It was up yesterday. It was down today. This is a seesaw sector right now. There is a huge influence on this sector from the US. For long term investors. It may be a time to stay away. Maybe note that TCS, Infosys, HCL, Wipro, all of them are in the 50 to 60 percent kind of zone in terms of proximity to 52 week high. Today, 12 sectors were more than 1 percent up. 15 sectors were up between 0.1 to 1 percent. So overall, great market breadth. Nifty 50, 21 down, 29 up. Reliance kept the index up, followed by HDFC Bank, M&M, Adani Ports, Titan. What was pulling Nifty down primarily? TCS, SBI, HCL, Wipro. About five six companies had good volumes. Grasim, Sri Ram, Titan, Sipla, not the big boys, but most of the companies again had shallow volumes. Let me sort on market cap. All the big boys volumes were less than fifty percent. Next fifty ten stocks down, forty up. Great market breadth. Volumes were good for the insurance pack, ICICI, LIC, the cement pack, ABB, Siemens, Hevels. So these volumes were good. However, the remaining sector had really poor volumes. So every day these days, about sixty to seventy percent Nifty next fifty stocks are hardly being traded in terms of volumes compared to their average volumes. One reason could be that most of these stocks are so high. Thirty-six out of fifty stocks are in the eighty to hundred percent zone. Out of that, also forty percent stocks are in the ninety to hundred percent zone. Nearing lifetime highs. IT index no point in talking. Everything was down. Energy mix pack. Lines kept the sector up. Banks HDFC was up. Axis was up. PNB Bank of Baroda. Most other banks were down only. Volumes were again less than hundred percent. In fact, in case of PSUs, many stocks traded at around thirty percent of their average volumes. Indian Bank was at twenty percent of the average volumes. Hardly any interest. My trades. I bought Bharat Dynamics forty points before the rally. I also bought Prestige Estates in my own tracker. I was saying every day that the real estate sector is up every day, so I took a bite into it today. ABB also I bought today probably 400 points before the rally. I sold off Karnataka Bank. It was holding my capital unnecessarily. It was not going anywhere. I'll probably revisit this around the result season. Options trade. I'll walk you through the 20th expiry. There was a mess up in the other positions. I'll talk about it on Monday. HDFC Bank's data I talked about. It created a huge mess. I need to sort it out over the weekend and rescue the positions on Monday for that. So this position is what I've been talking about last few days. It is a far off position. The max profit is six percent, fourteen thousand five hundred on the target date, which is next Thursday. Now next three days are off, which means. I have no risk for three days of markets going up. There will be three trading days: Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, in which the Nifty should not cross twenty three six hundred. In any case, there is a downward protection that also I'll prevent. Probably, if there is any very good news which will take the market up, I will immediately exit the positions. It is time to be cautious in the market, in my opinion. Everyone has thrown caution to the wind. Everyone feels that stocks only go up. This is not true. The fall could be very painful. The same phenomena I am seeing in real estate also. 
everyone is buying as if the real estate only goes up i have personally seen real estate stagnate for 5 6 years i have sold two properties in my life at prices lower than where i bought if i adjust that to inflation and interest rates for many people right now the problem is there is a lot of money lot of liquidity also because india has printed a lot of currency they are scared of equity market mutual funds is one route our most people have very little idea of what to do with the money real estate parks a lot of money current and future most people see the maths as invest one crore two crore right now it will double most people are not wrong either because they don't know how to do better than that in any other market form but right now equity markets are becoming very tricky all the good news of all sorts is nearly factored in there is nothing i can imagine right now which can take the stock market up another five percent besides excess retail money so do evaluate your options it may not be a bad idea to take some money out and sit on cash you will get very less interest in the bank that's okay but if you saw 4th of june stocks were down 25 percent in a single day in market crashes we can have up to two or three or four of such kind of days also stocks large caps very big stocks very good stocks can fall 40 to 50 percent in less than a week's time so if you have huge profits maybe book a part of it if you are slow on cash maybe sit on a bit of cash foreign buffet also sold apple stocks which were doing very well for him he has been wrong many times but right now he's sitting at historic cash levels it's a long weekend coming up enjoy life have fun thanks for watching and i'll see you on tuesday